what we have is t equals 5 pi divided by 3. And what we need to do is just evaluate the point that this angle is on there. So when we notice what it's in thirds, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph up the first quadrant of the inner circle. Because in reality, that's all I really want you guys to memorize. Because if you can be able to determine what the first quadrant of the unit circle is, then the points in that first quadrant, you can be able to figure out the rest of the unit circle. So we have our three, our, our five points. These were our first two. That was pretty basic to understand. And then the first one is at what we'll call um, 30 degrees, which is still the same thing as pi over 6. And that angle, coordinate point on the unit circle, is square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. That's the x and y coordinates at 30 degrees for the point on the unit circle. The next angle is 45 degrees, or that's equal to pi half, or pi force. And the coordinate point when that angle touches the unit circle is square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. And the next angle is 60 degrees, which is equal to pi thirds radians. And that, ang and that point on the unit circle is 1 half kind of square root of 3 over 2. All right? So what I'm noticing here, ladies and gentlemen, is when I want to determine this point, I need to determine what all the points are on the unit circle for pi thirds. So if I know this angle here is pi thirds, right? I also know there's going to be a, a reflection over that, right? If you take this angle, you can reflect it over there as well, would everybody agree? You can take this angle and reflect it over. So if this point is 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2, if I reflect it over the y-axis, now it's negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Yes? All right. Then I can reflect this over the x-axis and this over the x-axis. So then these two points now are going to be, that's still 1 half, but now that's negative square root of 3 over 2. And this point is going to be um, negative 1 half comma negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, So if we were going to graph what these points are, well, if this is pi thirds, then this is 2 pi thirds, 3 pi thirds, right? Because you know halfway around a circle needs to be pi. So it also needs to be 3 pi over 3. So that's pi thirds, 2 pi thirds, 3 pi thirds, 4 pi thirds, 5 pi thirds. Therefore, all they're asking is, what is the coordinate point? 1 half negative square root. Um, so the point is? 1 half negative square root of 3 over 2. Done. Okay. That makes sense? Kind of a little bit? You can also have the unit.